Hey, Pastor Bob here, and it's always great to connect with you uh, online. I want to give you an update. Uh, first of all, um, let me just say thank you to everybody who helped uh, uh, things go well last week as we opened up the church campus. I know it's, uh, it was exciting for me to, to have uh, many folks here, and as we take this step, I want to thank those of you willing to serve and uh, be a part of our uh, uh, cleaning teams as we uh, have new protocols. Certainly getting out uh, things have changed, right? Things are different in light of all that's happening, and I uh, want to thank those who've helped us make that happen. Many of you know some things are just different. How many of you, for example, given a chance to uh, take an elevator or take the stairs? Many times we're just avoiding the elevators, right? You don't have to push those buttons, take the stairs. For me, I've always had, I don't know, I've always had a difficult time with stairs. I don't always trust stairs. It always seems to me that they're up to something. But anyway, uh, let me just say thank you for all that you've done to help us. And as we talk about uh, this, coming, uh, this coming Sunday, uh, certainly celebrating Father's Day, we have the opportunity to uh, once again invite some folks on campus. The three services that we'll be having uh, be just like last week. At 9 o'clock, we'll have a mask recommended service here in the sanctuary. At 10 o'clock, we'll go over to West Campus for a family experience service. This will be for families who have small children. Uh, the children, in fact, will be with the parents at all times through that service around tables. And so keep in mind, this service is for families uh, with young children. And then we'll come back at 11 o'clock for a um, uh, face mask required service. And I understand, as we've gotten a lot of feedback on this, the face masks certainly have become kind of a controversial thing in, in our culture. And so I want to just remind you, as we, as we take these steps, thank you for being patient with us as we seek to uh, abide within the guidelines. Uh, obviously, we can only have so many people in each of the services because of the guidelines. So thank you for working with us on that. Certainly, we pray the reservation system is working for you, gives you an opportunity to select a service. We certainly understand that not everybody's going to necessarily get the service that they desire. So thank you for being patient with us on that. And, and by the way, if you happen to reserve uh, some space at one of the services and then discover uh, that you're not able to, uh, to attend that service or not able to make it uh, that weekend, we have this uh, number here you can text. If you'll text this phone number, uh, we'll be able to have an awareness of that and it'll just help us to adjust accordingly uh, we'd appreciate uh, you uh, communicating that with us. And so as we take this step, continue to uh, uh, work with us. I know uh, also our Celebrate Recovery team, we're certainly excited about their step that they're taking to open up that ministry this coming Monday, uh, June 22nd. Uh, they will begin at 6 o'clock at the West Campus. And uh, so be in prayer for our Celebrate Recovery as they take this step as well, seeking to, uh, to minister to our community to be a blessing. And as 1 John 3, 1 tells us, uh, what great love the Father has lavished on us that we should be called the children of God. May we continue to uh, conduct ourselves in such a way that the community will see the love of God in us and recognize that we are followers of Christ because of the love we have for one another. May God bless you. We'll see you soon.